Hello, Namaskar, Namaskara, Namaskaram, Namaskar. My name is Pooja Devedi. Welcome to my class. Luna 25 has collided with the surface of the moon and it has been declared a failure by Russia. This is a bittersweet news for India. Bittersweet because we were in a stiff competition with Luna 25 to achieve the historic feat of landing on the south pole of the moon in a soft manner. And it's bitter because it echoes our pain of Chandrayaan 2's failure. It's really hard at a surface with no gravity to properly soft land and that is why it is now challenging. It is becoming more challenging for each and every country to do so. Maybe we will become the first ever country to successfully soft land on the south pole of the surface of the moon. We will discuss all in detail today. Also, do not try to make notes because I provide the notes through my Telegram channel that is by the name of Pooja Devedi UPSC. If you have any questions regarding this examination, you can talk to me on my Instagram. So, R Russia's first moon mission in almost 50 years. The Luna 25 has collided with the surface of the moon. It has crashed. On August 19, it was declared that an emergency situation has arisen due to which contact with Luna 25 was lost. And after that, it spun hysterically, finally crashed. It was supposed to make landing tomorrow, that is August 21st, but it would not be able to do so. And this has echoed the challenges that are related to the soft landing on the surface of the moon. See, South Pole is specifically very important. Why? Because it has craters which is untouched by sunlight. That means whatever is deposited over there, the fossils which are deposited over there are very important to understand the origin of the universe. And there could be a lot many things on which we can build upon our in situ experiments on the South Pole of the moon. South Pole remains permanently hidden because the uh, moon is tidally locked with the earth. And that is why we see that the South Pole is in perpetual darkness. It is important for the South Pole to be lit by sunlight so that Chandrayaan 3 can land there. And after that, receiving the sunlight through the solar panels, it can work for the next 14 days. So it is important for India to do so. However, Russia had an ample amount of time. Ample as in this mission was for one year. So it did not have any sort of emergency landing that it had to land on this day only. For Chandrayaan 3, this is more important because our mission life is just 14 days, 14 Earth days. And that is why it is important for us to know that we have to close in on our window of August 23rd. So it's more like an emergency situation for India. Otherwise, we will have to wait for the next, again, next 20, 29 days. Okay. So that is why it is important for India to do so. Let's compare these two because it was supposed to be beating Chandrayaan 3. And we were quite, you know, it was very thrilling for us that who is going to land first. Now it's maybe going to be India. Uh, I'm not trying to be excessively optimistic over here because soft landing will be achieved according to the chief of ISRO. But still, there are always glitches that are present. I wish and I hope that Chandrayaan 3 will do so. And it will do so. Because ISRO scientists have worked on the failures of Chandrayaan 2 and then it will of course be manifested through the successful landing of the Chandrayaan 3. Our scientists work really hard. So look at this lift off mass of Chandrayaan 3 is much heavier was much heavier than Luna 25. Luna 25's linear lift off mass was just 1750 kg. Because of that it was able to accelerate faster. Also it had a lot of fuel space so that is why it was able to reach the you know lunar orbit much ahead of Chandrayaan 3 as in Chandrayaan 3 was launched on July 14th and the Luna 25 was launched on August 10th. So we had a huge gap in our launching procedures. Still because of the fuel as well as the lift off mass was lighter of Luna 25 it was able to do at a faster rate. But when the propulsion deviation because of the issues with propulsion deviations occurred by just few uh, you know parameters it crashed. Chandrayaan 3 has successfully deboosted the final stage and we will see the landing on August 23rd okay so make sure that you are very well aware of this and another thing is that we are not using as much fuel as Luna 25 did because of this our mission was also very economical. We use the gravity of the earth as well as 
thrusting power of the thrusters of, of course, the Chandrayaan-3 to ensure that we are, you know, going steady and steady, slow and steady does win the race. You have to keep this in mind as well. Now, as you can see, this is how Luna 25 went. And now, finally, it has crashed. Moving on. Now, August 10th was the date. I have already told you about this. Luna 25 rode on a powerful rocket to reach the lunar orbit in just six days. It didn't carry any rover. We have a rover, Pragyan, which will uh, show roving capabilities. This is more of a technological demonstration that we are going to do. We are going to show the world we have such a technique and technology that we can successfully soft land on the moon, specifically South Pole. Because only China, since 1976, has been able to successfully soft land on the moon twice through its Chang'e series. In the decadal time, Israel, Japan, India, now Russia, all have failed because of the technical issues that arise. So, it did not carry a rover, but it had eight payloads which could study the soil composition, dust particles and in the polar exosphere. Most importantly, detect surface water on the moon. Where there is water, there is a possibility of life. That is why. Okay, moving on. Now, Luna 25 was supposed to land on the moon on uh, 21st of August, much ahead of Chandrayaan-3, for which the date is August 23rd. And we also have to keep in mind that abnormal situations arisen uh, that were being studied since August 19th, that is yesterday itself. Today also they tried to establish contact with Luna 25, but contact couldn't be established. And finally, it spun hysterically and then it crashed. It lost contact, okay? At about 14.57 Moscow time, communication with Luna 25 spacecraft was interrupted. It is very important to maintain contact with the spacecraft so that maneuvering can be done, movement can be done prop, you know, properly on the parameters of which any object has to move, has to be contact through the ground station. And that was lost. August 19 and 20 was, you know, utilized to search for it. Nothing happened. And I've already told you all this. So let's move forward. See, why it was important for Russia? Because it was a prestige project. Even in the times of crises, Russia could able to achieve this historic feat if Luna 25 was capable enough. But it couldn't take place because of the recent situation. Also, continuation of the Luna series was a must. Since the 1960s and 70s when Luna mission was launched, Luna 24 was launched in 1976. And more Luna series are also, you know, in the pipeline. So it was very important for Russia from the perspective of the war. It was a battle of the optics and also to ensure that India doesn't win. This was also one of the things because why would they do it so close to Chandrayaan 3's launch or landing on the surface of the moon? This project was supposed to launch, get launched in 2021 itself, but it couldn't because of the war. Luna 25 was just the first of the series of lunar missions that Russia plans to undertake this decade. And at Luna 26 is scheduled for launch within the next three years. Then we have Luna 27, Luna 28, like this, in this particular decade only. Not only the moon's reduced gravity is a challenge, there is a, you know, because of the loss of atmosphere, gravity is there to capture the atmosphere. At atmosphere is not there, gravity is very less, and there is also deviation in the amount of gravity at each region. So that becomes a challenge. Also, it is very lumpy due to uneven mass distribution on its surface. Some places mass is a lot, some places mass is not. That creates another sort of challenge. It becomes lumpy in nature. It makes the attempt to orbit on around the moon also very tough. And the variation in gravity has accounted for the charting out of the descent trajectory. Whatever the variation in gravity would be, it should not be so gravitous that it causes the crash to happen. And variation should be enough that we are able to maneuver ourselves in the orbit of the moon. And lunar dust, once it lands, lunar dust is negatively charged and it sticks to the surface, specifically solar, solar panels and sensors. So it becomes very hard to sustain that challenge. Also, temperatures may, variation make the lunar environment very hostile for the objects we are sending on the moon because the kind of products that are used may not be suitable for them. But still, we have hopes. See, Chandrayaan has, most of the time, when it started deboosting or slowing down its pace through the boosters towards the surface of the moon, it started sending us pictures. And recently, what has happened? 
that it has conducted its second and final deboosting. So it has conducted its final deboosting, the second and final one successfully in the lunar moon orbit to 25 into 134 kilometers. So it is very now close to the surface of the moon. And fingers crossed, it will definitely get successful when it comes to soft landing on the, on the moon. It is very important for the sunlight to be present over there. That is why we are waiting for the sunrise to happen correctly on the lunar surface so that we can get that area perfectly shot where we have to land. And then we have to utilize that sunlight to sustain our project through solar panels. So the module would undergo internal checks and we await the sunrise at designated landing site. We have a landing site. It is very important to keep those parameters in mind. It's very technical in nature. The power descent is expected to commence on August 23rd, 2023 at around 17.45 hours Indian Standard Time. So I hope you understood how hard it is for the scientist to understand how we have to soft land on the moon. Salute to the scientists of the entire world and specifically to ISRO scientists. Thank you so much for watching.